When your chain of supply goes from here to Shanghai, that's logistics. All new technology, UPS brings to me, that's logistics. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's looking at the game from here, you, you, you can see that the things that, 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 that didn't happen. I think the game plan, the plan came out, the kids came out and did a great job of executing the game plan. We, this is a very good defense now. So, you know, the, the, moving the ball like we did in the first half and we fumbled on the three, but we had 10, maybe 17 would have been there. Um, and, and having to fight hard for those points. And it was, uh, um, but the run and the, and the pass mixed together very, very well. Um, Defensively, I can't say enough about the way they played and the way they, they played the first half. The second half, the, the, the stories of the game were one, the offense could not come out and protect the lead. They, they, they made corrections, they made adjustments. They did a great job of turning long runs into short runs and to taking away our inside running game. You are talking about Marquello earlier. They dropped, when they played three, they dropped all their linebackers off the middle. You saw all the outs we were throwing. We were throwing outside cuts all day because that's what we had to hit. We had to hit them, we had to execute them. We hit more in the first half. Uh, and when you miss one, boy, it throws you in a punt situation. So, I mean, my first of all, my hat's off to Bowling Green. They have a, they're stronger up front than we were, and then they won the battle of the trenches, uh, uh, and, and that's the outcome of the game. They saw that Capone wasn't playing. They they finally found out that you know Saturday, Friday, we found out by MRI that Presley actually had a stress fractured fibula. Didn't know till till uh, Friday afternoon that he couldn't play. And, uh, and I, I think at halftime they got in there, looked at their size versus our size, and, and ran the ball continually. And uh, the, kid, the problem was our offense did not keep the did not protect the lead, could not keep the ball going, and, and force the defense to go out there too long. And, and they were very vulnerable. The defense was vulnerable, and we, if we could have scored points, maybe we could have had them chasing points all. But their defense proved why they're number one in the conference, uh, and they shut us down, and we did not execute well enough. You know, I have to take a lot of responsibility myself because I felt like we didn't have a good plan B. We did not have a plan B to turn to when they took away what we were doing and, uh, and the things that we were doing. We did not go out there and execute uh, uh, our plan B or our adjustments to the game. And we've got to really go out and look at that. You know, you, you know the, the offensive players wanted to play well. Oh, and then, and, and then you give their defensive front credit now. They got, they, for the first time this year, they got to our quarterback consistently. If you're going to get back out there and, 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 and get in shotgun and throw four wide receivers and block five or six people, you've got to protect and their their defensive front. You've got to give them a lot of credit. They, I don't know if they had four, maybe four sacks, maybe five, I don't know, five. We've only had six for the year against some pretty good fronts, but, but uh, um, uh, they, they went out there and, and, and uh, uh, did a good job.